Good day to you all. This is Sir Amel, and in this video, let us discuss the meaning of productivity in ecology. First of all, the word productivity is the efficiency of production, that is, how much can be produced with available resources, whether these resources are limited or li limitless. In other words, how good something can be produced efficiently using the resources that are available okay and that is productivity in a nutshell okay? um, productivity in ecology however refers to the rate or at which energy is converted to organic matter and that organic matter is the biomass the bodies the actual cells and tissues in the bodies of the organisms that produces this organic matter okay? so that is productivity in ecology you know it is the amount of which available energy that is available in the environment how much of that energy is being utilized assimilated and being converted into useful substances these substances may be uh, bio uh, biomolecules okay organic biomolecules and eventually these will be used to make the bonds to form the varieties of much larger compounds like polysaccharides and proteins and fats and lipids okay? and all of these will be combined to form biomass or organic matter okay? so productivity in ecology is uh, basically subdivided into two types the first type the first one is called primary productivity primary productivity is the rate at which energy is assimilated and converted into organic matter by the primary producers what are these primary producers these are organisms that either use the light of the sun and are so called photosynthetic or uh, autotrophs okay or these organisms may use chemicals and are therefore called chemosynthetic organisms or chemotrophs okay so these are primary producers they use this available resource that is in the environment limitless available resource that is available in the environment and they use this resource to convert it into uh, energy okay through various processes like photosynthesis and chemosynthesis okay and they'll use that energy to uh, make food to prepare food okay and that food we are talking about here is organic matter or biomass right? and again primary productivity is further subdivided into two types the first one is the gross primary productivity which is also called GPP this is actually the total rate at which energy is used to produce organic matter or biomass Right. But remember, know that uh, these primary producers will use a lot of that energy that is available to them. Okay. They will use that for different metabolic processes to grow and to essentially build their bodies. And obviously, they will need to respire. Okay. So, we have to take that into account as well. Respiration is another important process that will take up some of that energy. All right and when we count all of this then we are left with the net primary productivity all right what is this net primary productivity it is the amount of energy that is left after you know plants or uh, chemo crops have converted energy into organic matter and after they have uh, used various uh, metabolic processes as well as respiration okay so in other words we can say that the net primary productivity is gross or gross primary productivity minus the res respiration and metabolism okay? and the second type of productivity is the secondary productivity this is the total rate at which energy is used to produce 
organic matter or biomass at the consumer level. So whatever uh, energy is being transferred from the primary producers into the consumers and uh, that energy now will be used by these consumers to make their own organic matter to, to, to make their own cells and tissues and their bodies to grow. Right? So that is secondary productivity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, how do we measure productivity? Usually productivity is expressed as units of mass per unit volume or area per unit time. For example, uh, we can measure how much uh, um, you know how much vegetation is being produced in a given area at a given time like for example we can measure like for example the units used can be grams per square meter per day or it can be kilograms per square kilometers per day or per week per month okay that is how we measure productivity in an ecosystem you know productivity is very important some of the most productive ecosystems that are present or that we can see on planet earth or rather in planet earth are estuaries you know swamps and marshes the tropical rainforests and even the coral reefs these are highly highly rich diverse ecosystems okay and if you compare all of these ecosystems, the one thing that is constant in all these ecosystems is that they are, you know, they have uh, limitless resources, limitless reach to the sunlight or solar energy. Okay, these ecosystems that are being mentioned here, most of them are placed or are found near the equatorial uh, regions, right? Okay, so they have more. Uh, exposure to sunlight and hence these ecosystems are quite rich and productive okay. now and also now we know that climate change has had a huge negative impact on these ecosystems especially the coral reefs okay. uh, in the coral reefs we are losing a lot of the of these reefs in our planet due to coral bleaching all right and uh, this is a tremendous loss for us and you know because the, all these ecosystems are very very important they play at they have this important role in our you know in our lives in our daily lives they they cycle nutrients they cycle energy okay and all of this is important okay and you know i suggest you to to go and watch uh, this show that is streaming in on netflix now which is called uh, chasing coral to learn more about the effects of global warming and coral bleaching. Okay. Um, so that is productivity in ecology. Uh, I hope this video has helped you understand about productivity in ecology. And if you like this video, then please hit the like button. And remember, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.